Good morning, Shizuma. Hello, little bub. It was raining a few minutes ago. It's already drying off. But my so. Good morning. Good morning. I have caught the sun a little bit. I thought I would have caught it a hell of a lot more than I did, especially on my arms, but and I caught it a little bit on my legs, which is quite nice because my legs normally stay tasty white. Time for meds. Got to pick up some more, either today or tomorrow. This is what you saw me making. It was some of that Lukaku um, creamer, literally just as a sort of smoothie. You can add berries in there as well. I forgot and I can't be bothered to go back and do it now. So that's just nice. Basically like a milkshake. And then I also made myself an iced coffee with some of that and um, almond milk and cold coffee with some ice cubes in it. That's is good, yeah. Okay, so it is Monday morning, which means I've got a weekend's worth of packing to do, so that's fun. Um, I've had a little bit of a... <laughs> um, over the last few days. So last week, somebody... Um, I think it was last Monday, actually. Remember I said I sold a gold bracelet, like £120? Well, they've decided that... Um, well, they've said they're returning it because it's tarnished. Now, gold doesn't tarnish, so naughty little liar there. Anyway, so that means they get free return, doesn't it? So they print off the returns label and they send it back. And then I get a message Friday morning saying, um, you know, from eBay, Royal Mail, all of that, going like, your item has been delivered. And I'm like, it hasn't. So I check the tracking and it's been delivered to a road of the same name but in my stig, which is another town in Bridgend. So completely different postcode, but um, yeah. So that's great. So I can't, I am not going to refund the money until I get either a refund from Royal Mail um, or eBay go, ah shit, sorry son, um, or I get the item back in my hand because I don't know if that person that's bought the gold bracelet that is scamming me anyway by saying that it was tarnished isn't scamming me further by not even putting the bracelet in there who knows so yeah that's fun and also we booked a holiday last week and the day after we booked the holiday like the flights and the non-refundable um apartment the company that we're going with whiz air decided to cancel our return flights. Not our ones out. So we can still go out. That's if they don't cancel that one, which with Wiz Air, we don't know right now. They might cancel the one out as well. I don't know. Anyway. So yeah, that was fun as well. So it's been a bit of a um, week and weekend. So there. Anyways, today's plan is, well, today's plan was that there was going to be a thunderstorm and that we would go to Puff Call and we would watch the wave cracking against the shore because I love doing that during a thunderstorm. However, it has stopped raining and it's just going to be kind of overcast for the rest of the day. So I don't know what the plan is now. It may still go somewhere. Who knows? But uh, this morning, I am definitely going to do my post because I know you're all so excited to see what is going to out over the weekend and a little bit of listing oh what a treat mm. 
Yeah, don't worry, I'm bored as well. <laughs> Coffee time. You got brilliant timing, Mother. I know. Thank you. I know, I know. Who's timing? She's good. She can stay. Yeah. I like your top. Oh, I thought this is really good. It's very pretty. Anyways, chin chin. Hmm. Cup of coffee. Right, things going out. I've just been listening to some tunes as well. Some tunes. Because sometimes you need some tunes to get you going. So we started off with, you know, a bit of Skunk and Nancy. And then it ended with a little bit of Alcazar's Crying at the Discotheque. Because that's one of my all-time favourite tunes. So there. Anyways, things going out. For £37, this solid silver, like, necklace thing. That went at auction. £37. Um, do you remember the lovely pottery that I bought the other week, the owl and the pussycat, the quilly pottery? Um, someone sent me an offer of £20 on each one, so £40 for the pair, so happy to take them. The sterling silver Irish coin ring, um, it's an Irish threepence, that went for £21. This little tree of life sterling silver necklace, £9.59. Some nine carat gold and cubic zirconia stud earrings, twenty two ninety nine. Yeah, any old iron can you hear him? Um, this fishing rod Stratton uh, tie clip that went for eleven pounds fifty. Sterling silver and amethyst drop earrings, nine pounds fifty nine. These stainless steel um, kind of ribbed. Uh, hoop earrings £5.50 the sacred heart enamel and shamrocks um, like little pin £9.99 the calf kidston nautical bracelet £15 a spikes spikes is the brand stainless steel but gold plated ring uh, £5.99 this um, it's an odd one it's made from horseshoe nails but look it's like a little dangly bloke or a robot or something it's kind of cool um, on a leather strap um, that went for £16.79 this little black lacquered box very frugality uh, 9 99 on that one. These two brooches, so this little, like, um, what's that called? Thermoset plastic flowers and some Toledo Damascene, £15.10. Three Pandora charms, 29 Got a little, like, present one, a little heart one and a little bow. So you're all going to the same person. Some sterling silver long hoop earrings, £9.59. Hey, sterling silver. It's all sterling silver, honestly. I should just only list silver, but there we are. Uh, little mouse charm, um, £7.99. A sterling silver bracelet with all bubbles on it, £13.59. A sterling silver initial A charm, £5.99. A sterling silver and onyx bracelet with um, Chinese symbols on, £20, um, a sterling silver and glass faceted pendant necklace, £14.39 and £7.99 for these two um, UFO Jerry Anderson books, which I think fit, cost me 50 pence. So um, yeah, a lot of sterling silver. I should just list sterling, but I like listing the other stuff as well, because it will eventually all sell. It's just the serving silver sells a bit quicker. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to package these up and then I will show you what um, what uh, auctions I'm going to have starting tonight. Oh. Post is done. I thought I'd just pop out to um, get the eyebrows waxed, because it's only down there. I don't like plucking my own eyebrows. Exciting stuff. And there we go. I know they look like cartoon brows for now, but it all calms down a bit and um, looks natural. They actually look quite good when it's calmed down. 
<laughs> they just look like Crayola eyebrows for now. Anyways, back. So this is what I'm listing tonight. Can you see what they are? They're like the um, they're all from Tiny Rebel, and then there's a couple of other little brewery bits. But they're all you know from the fronts of pumps. These like plastic domes with the um, like little picture of what. There you go. That's a mixed berry double bruisey sour. Um, but yeah, so I have got a load of these from my mate. I was like, she was gonna throw them out or give them away and stuff. And I was like, dude, like, I bet someone will buy them. So I've listed all of them. Yay. Also me. Hello, Bicket. Are you okay, kitten? You all right? How's my beautiful girly? You all nice and fresh? Look at that kitten. Look at her. Oh, look at her in her perfect feet. It's so beautiful. So beautiful, Azumi. Yes, you are. Just had her meds and having some dreamies now. I bought this the other day. Does anyone know what the hell it is? Just plastic. Yeah. So we're here in the car, there's Nia. <laughs> we're on our way to Bukul. We were gonna pick up Alana, but she's um she's got the house to herself for once, so she's enjoying that. Probably by sitting around like in her pants, yeah. yeah. And, you know, yeah, something like that. But yeah, so we're gonna have um a little nip around Pukul. And then I reckon we should just go see Alana anyway, because we haven't met the kitten yet. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Kitten. <laughs> Yay. I'll put gold first. little joint 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 to put cool and I'm having for tea some gammon some Cajun fried green beans and some braised red cabbage and an iron brew oh yeah dinner was lush it really was um, I'll show you quickly what I got in put cool today it wasn't much oh and I've got some things the other day so I'll show you things from the other day I can't remember where I went I think it was Basically, this box, which was £3.50, but obviously a lot of its thing is missing from the top there. So it's a little project for someone. It is musical. It sounds haunted.
Mm. And then I got um, this 17 Cherry Tree Lane collection. This is a Mary Poppins charm bracelet. Just quite cute. You know, for Disney shit. And then for £2, I got all of these vintage 80s Garfield books. Yay! They're not consecutive ones. There's like number 3, number 13, number 39. But um, yeah, a whole bunch of them. I mean, I can't say no for two quid for a load of Garfield books. I just love Garfield. It's cute. Right, so today in Puzzle Call, I got for Alana as a present this Bowie pick, which is quite cool. Um, their original price on them, um, it had on the back two for £20 or £25, something like that, from whoever like made these prints probably on Etsy. But yeah, that's pretty cool. It was four pounds for that. Um, I did spend twenty pounds altogether on these two bits of jewellery, but this really unusual brooch looks like looks like you should be able to pull it out, and it's a knife, isn't it? That's quite cool. And then this um, gold for me, so that's gold over sterling silver. Beautiful. Like, not quite sure what stone it is. It's not testing as anything, but there is a diamond in the middle. But you can't see it. But it's a really pretty, like, flower-shaped setting. Um, and then for free, lady gave us this. I was going to pay for it, but she was like, oh, I can't believe the quality of it. Like, that shouldn't have hit the shop floor. Um, and she was like, no, you can just have it. Like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> we did end up buying other things there anyway, but yeah. Um, so this is by Country Kitchen, Sheriff Williams. Pe the Praise Penryn, Penryn Cornwall and it's this apron with like, I thought it's very like kitschy cottage core type thing. There are some like paint marks and thingy marks on it um, but surely someone out there will love the absolute awful kitschiness of it. That's what I figure anyway. Right, that is kind of me done for the day. I'm not going to be doing much else. Um, Mate's coming around in a sec because I've just printed some stuff off for her for a new job. And I've got a little card to give her as well. Um, and other than that, I'm going to wash some more of the ink out of my brows. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, just chill and hopefully get some sleep tonight because it's a bit cooler. And yeah, that would be quite nice actually. So, yeah, that's it. I know it's been a great day, isn't it? Well, I've enjoyed it. I don't know if you guys have. <laughs> right. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.